What's going on YouTube? I just want to make a quick review on this Magic Till trailer. It's a 2018 model. It was our update from a galvanized sports trailer. That's the brand. And uh, the, the galvanized trailer was completely fine. We really didn't have any issues with it, but we do come to Florida a lot and it does get submerged in salt water, so we were ready for an upgrade. I will say the Magic Tail trailer is built really well. Um, the engineering of it, you know, the frame is very strong. The way it's designed, um, you see they use a, a bolt through design right here, you know, uh, welding it. it. Would definitely weaken the tongue, so they use a bolt. Uh, something to note. I beam construction. Very nice, smooth bends. I mean, you get a little bit of wrinkling. But that's to be expected. It's a big I beam. A lot of adjustability. Now it did take some time to adjust the actual rails. These are galvanized down here. Your uprights. I wish those were aluminum. Um, I know the steel is obviously a little stronger. It's definitely easier. So we'll definitely be spraying these down with some uh, anti-corrosive spray. These trailers now come with E-load tires. We wanted to get away from the 10 inch rim, but I started doing some research and our old uh, sports trailer had D-loads. Well, now they come with E-load tires. Tail lights are covered. We have the reflective tape on the back. Now some of the fit and finish things that I'm not ecstatic about. This tail light fits great. Over here. As you can see the mounting holes need to be adjusted. And the tail light is crooked. That bothers me when you spend, you know, almost two thousand dollars on a new trailer. Uh, other things that I'm not really crazy about is every single corner has been left unfinished. It's everything's razor sharp on this trailer. Uh, the first trailer we got, this tab, see how these are mounted, was actually way over here. I don't know how it's possible. Um, maybe somebody saw this upright and went over on this side because they matched it to this. They literally duplicated what you see here and did the same here. So we had to bring the trailer back and trade it out for another one. That was strange that that would get by quality control. Um, as a, Again, we filed all these down. This was all razor sharp from like a press break. All these corners were very, very, very sharp. I mean, you could just drag your finger like that and it would, it would cut even a callous tan does not come with a spare tire um, that's actually I'm sure it's an option from the factory we added that does have nice little LED um, accent lighting nice for the fender but overall I'm happy with it you know uh, the build quality is nice I wish they would have a sanding wheel you know on a side grinder and finish off some of these corners it would take all of 10 minutes to um, knock down some of the sharp edges and corners it's just from a manufacturing standpoint I mean I, we have a fab shop I don't let anything leave our shop that hasn't been cut somebody especially on something that's your family's gonna be jumping on and off of so I hope this gives you a good idea of what you're gonna be looking at Overall, I'm happy with it, and uh, thanks for watching.